Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2022. Please join us in standing as you are able. Please face our nation's flag at the back of the gymnasium for our national anthem. It's such a lovely honor to welcome you to our 2022 class day. I'd like to introduce to you the students in our front row today. We have our class officers, our class president, Tatiana Kuba, <laughs> Vice President Peyton Prouty, Secretary Jessica Fulmer, <laughs> Treasurer Gabrielle Soder, our historians are Jacob Bergeron and Nicoletta Javaris, <laughs> Student Council President is Connor Donahue. And to Connor's left is our class valedictorian, Alexandra Holmes. I'd love to also introduce to you the class advisors, Ms. Nancy Jingris and Mr. Sean O'Connor. A uh, class day tradition for many years has, to be, has been to hear essays from the students who ranked quite high in the class. Um, the student, well first of all let me say that all of the students who persevered through the pandemic and online learning and came back to school and made it across today's stage are sitting here in front of you. They've all accomplished something. We lost many students along the way. They preferred online. They decided to go start college right away. In front of you, you see the students who made the great decision to stay in high school, come back in person, keep doing schoolwork, and make it to their high school diplomas. And they're all really special. The ones who did all of their work during the pandemic and finished at the very, very top of their class, really, they achieved something that touches my heart because I know how hard that was. Um, coming in ranked number four in the class 
After four years of study, we have an essay today from Tatiana Kuba. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming out this afternoon to see the class of 2022 start the next chapter in their lives. To the class of 2022, we made it. We conquered friendships, our education, a pandemic that took so much from us, but also gave us so much more. The key thing is we did everything together. Senior year has been a whirlwind of emotions, and while I will not miss any of the academics involved with our school, there are some things I will surely miss. I'll miss the football games under the lights, our pep rallies, homecoming, and hanging out in the office with my two favorite secretaries. Some of my favorite memories were dissecting and delivering baby pigs with Jess Gavin Pay, emceeing the Mr. Panther pageant and crowning Brandon as the Mr. Panther, getting a bucket of water dumped on me on field day by Connor, ranting to Felicity about everything in the band room, and hanging out with Pay in the office. This year wasn't easy though. Mentally this year was tougher than any other year, and I think that you guys can all agree to this. We all struggled to get up each morning, so we either went in late or skipped completely. We struggled to maintain our grades so we could meet the expectations we had for ourselves, but also the expectations set for us by our families and teachers. We took on the stress of deciding what was next for ourselves, and last but not least, we battled through a pandemic. Senioritis hit us hard, but in the end, we made it. In a frame of a black and white mindset, the purpose of coming to school is to obtain an education, but we all added our own colors when we came here and built friendships that will last past our time here at Prouty. I know most of you have built some of the best relationship dur relationships during your time here. I'm grateful for all the friends I've made here, and I'm so grateful for the special bonds I've made with some of the teachers. Mrs. Tebow will always hold a special place in my heart. Miss Gray has been the best role model and advice giver. Mrs. White and Mrs. Shaughnessy have kept me sane and entertained. And Mrs. Kinnis always had an open ear for me. So to the class of 2022, I hope you have all made friendships and memories that will last a lifetime. I wish you all the best and just know that I see success within all of you. Good luck on your future endeavors. Finishing ranked number three after four years of study, we have an essay from Ms. Jessica Fulmer. What marks growth? Is it added inches to our heights or the change of our t-shirt sizes? Maybe it's new teachers we get to have as we pass through each grade. Or is it the new privileges we get, like driving a car or buying scratch tickets? For me, I've always equated, equated growth to an afterthought. That one day, you look at where you are, think of where you once were, and see a difference in yourself that is hopefully positive. Because of our school's small size, everyone in our grade knows everyone in our grade. With a lot of us meeting before we knew how to read, we've had plenty of time to see the changes and growth in one another, whether we've always liked what we saw or not. And now, here we are, ready and eager to grow more than ever, in places where there won't be the same 60 people to watch us figure it all out. For some of us, this is frightening. This place and these people are what we have known, for better or for worse. Growth and the loss of stability brings uncertainty. I've personally always been a person consumed by the idea that things won't turn out okay, that since there's always a chance that things could go wrong, I should take as few risks as possible in order to prevent misfortune. It is because of this that I was glad to find a certain quote by poet Aaron Hansen somewhere amidst my inspirational quotes phase in middle school. It is a quote I often forget, but find to be particularly fitting for where we currently are in our lives. It reads, there is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? We are and forever will be a part of each other's beginnings. And the good thing about beginnings is that they are designed to leave room for more. I hope that each of us leaves David Prouty High School committed to making the most of the rest of our stories. And that when we one day have that afterthought and look back to where we once were, we see that we flew as high as we could. Those were two absolutely lovely speeches. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. At this time, we have a new tradition we started last year. 
I'm going to introduce some of the members of the class to you using the senior superlatives. So when I read your name, please stand and let everyone see you. And you will be named with the superlatives that were chosen for you. Most popular, Connor Donahue and Nikki Javaris. Class Clown, Brennan Ogert. <laughs> Best Dressed, Paige Cardinal and Michael Saintville. <laughs> Best Smile, Chris Merzicki and Katie Boria. Most Athletic, Gabby Soder and Byron Tippins. <laughs> Best Friends, Gabby Soder and Jess Fulmer and Connor O'Malley and Ashton Valley. <laughs> Most Likely to be Late, Joey Havilotti and Avery Puchalski. <laughs> Most likely to succeed, Jake Bergeron and Alex Holmes. <laughs> Most artistic, Julia Cabana and Rainy Dumas. Most school spirit, Peyton Prouty and Brennan Ogert. <laughs> Friendliest, Jessica Fulmer and Damian Bernier. <laughs> Life of the party, Evan Fournier. Most musical, Felicity Kazuski and Gavin Shaput. <laughs> Worst senioritis, Nikki Javaris. <laughs> Most unforgettable, Tatiana Kuba and Stephen Ceccarini. Most likely to become famous, Caleb Humphrey and Julia Cabana. <laughs> Most supportive, Joselina Pizzarella Rivera and Randy Aguirre. <laughs> Most cheerful, Sam Holmes and Nick Berthume. Least likely to overreact, Kim Nairn and Brady Rokes. <laughs> Those were chosen by teachers and the secretaries. So, the people who know them quite well. If your name wasn't called, it's just because we ran out of time. But we love you all. You all have great personalities. At this time, we'll move into the section of the program where the teachers give their awards. And first is our art teacher, Ms. Shulo. Hi, everybody. Um, the Art Achievement Award goes to students that were creative, innovative, and overachievers in the art room. Uh, the first student receiving this award focused on one project all semester long. 
He created and designed a fully functional guitar all on his own. The student is Gathin Shepit. I kind of peeked in earlier. <laughs> um, the second student receiving this award draws constantly in her sketchbook and has her own unique and wonderful drawing style. This student is Lauren Picard. Next, we'll ask our band director, Ms. Gray, to do the music awards. Hi. Um, so this John Wage Memorial Scholarship is in memory of the previous band director. Um, this comes with a $500 scholarship towards college, um, and this is for a student who represents who John Wage was, who is someone who gave love, dedication, not only to the program, but to the students. Um, so this year's award, or scholarship, is to Gavin Shepard. Uh, the next awards are for my eight seniors who have participated in band. Um, actually, most of them joined this past year, which has been exciting. Um, and then I have a couple who have been here all four years. Um, so the first one is to Aaron Ward. <laughs> Our next one is Julia Cabana. This one is for Gavin Chapman. <laughs> and Gavin and our next one have been the ones that have been in the program the longest for the full four years. Um, this one is for Felicity Kazuski. <laughs> Our next one is for Ashton Valley. Uh, our next one is for Paige Knoyer. Our next one is for Kim Nairn. Nairn? Sorry. <laughs> and our last one is for Connor O'Malley. Um, I'm also giving the um, Student Council Awards. Um, me and Ms. Pena are the Student Council Advisors. Um, and this year we're offering to three amazing students. Without them, um, this year couldn't have happened. We wouldn't have been able to put a field day on. Um, we also did Mr. Panther, and it just they've made everything the amazing opportunities for this class. Um, so our first one is for our president, Connor Donahue. <laughs> Our next one is for the class president, I'm Tatiana Kuba. And our final one is for Peyton Prouty. Next, we'd like Ms. Bridges to come up to give the marketing awards. Well, 
Okay, hi, my name is Mrs. Bridges. I teach the vocational marketing program. And our program does not yet have any seniors, but we do have a couple of juniors who have been doing incredible work um, at an amazing level, equal to that of what I would expect of seniors. So they definitely deserve some recognition for the work they've been doing both in-house as well as work for members of our business community under my supervision in the classroom because they're not old enough to do outside stuff yet, but I can't wait to see what they can do next year. So I'm very proud to give an award for Outstanding Achievement in Marketing and Business to Paige Parento. And I'm also very proud to give an award for Outstanding Achievement and Initiative in Marketing and Business to Charlie Lascom. Next, Ms. Jingris and the Yoga Awards. Thank you. Um, first, when we talk about yoga, I want people to know that there are eight different limbs. And traditionally, people think of just the asanas, which are the poses, as, as yoga. Um, but there are other limbs or other avenues to achieve it. Karma yoga is one of the four classical schools of yoga. Karma is understood to be the sum of a person's deeds. In yoga, we learn the importance of selfless actions in which service is offered from the heart with full intention, awareness, and no expectation of praise or recognition. It is the yoga of service. I wish to recognize first six students who consistently offered service from the heart with full attention and awareness. The first four students offered their time and talents to create murals for the walls in our yoga room. Time and again, this space provides a refuge for the busy lives in the minds of both students and staff. Thank you, and please come forward for a small gift. Julia Cabana. <laughs> Kim Naren. Lauren Picard. Samantha Holmes. In addition uh, to service and yoga, uh, Sam was my go-to girl for uh, all Zoom meetings during remote learning. I, she was in my English class, and she was there before I was, guiding me throughout it. So thank you, Sam, for that. The next award is for a man of character. I've always said you judge a man's character by the way he treats his mother. If he's not good to her, he is not going to be good to you. The way he treats his English teacher. If he is not good to me, he's not going to be good to you. Because the way we show up in one relationship is the way that we show up in all relationships. And the third way is the way in which he behaves in a buffet line. I have witnessed the way he treats his mother as well as have had firsthand experience as his English teacher. The buffet line remains to be seen. The next award goes to a young man who never took my yoga class, but he truly embodies the practice of karma yoga. Connor Donahue.
Before I present the last award to a current graduate, I would like to recognize a former student, a former David Prouty High School graduate, who has always exhibited the importance of selfless action, always from the heart, with full attention, awareness, and truly no expectation of praise or recognition. Worthy of the Karma Service bracelet, which they all wear, is Tara Gobi Donahue. Please come here. Finally, the last but certainly not least of the Karma Service Award goes to a young man who didn't take yoga until the last quarter of his senior year. Whenever I needed assistance from the moment this young man walked into the door with every event or activity, he always seemed to appear before me. Whenever we passed in the hall, he always asked if I needed help carrying my many bags, the crates and boxes that I seemed to be juggling in my room always available to lend a helping hand, and he plans to become a social worker himself and continue a life of service. I would like to welcome to the podium, with great thanks, Brian, Byron, Byron Tippins. We're going to move one of our faculty members up in the program now. Our uh, school resource officer, Todd Laporte, will present the Spencer Police Association scholarships because he has another engagement. Thank you. Sorry to uh, cut these fine presenters, although I'm not. Except for the Exchange Club, who are awesome, but I had to follow them last year, and they have bells, whistles, ribbons, <laughs> trophies. I am, I'm lucky to have uh, photocopy paper, so um, Exchange Club, not sorry. Seniors, congratulations. Uh, best of luck to all of you uh, with your future plans at college, work field, uh, military, um, workforce type training, whatever it might be. So best of luck to all of you. It is my distinct pleasure to be here today and carry on a fine tradition from the Spencer Police Association. We've been presenting long before I was here, and I've been here now 20 years in Spencer, and I've presented, I want to say, probably 15 out of the last 20 years. So it's been a distinct pleasure for me uh, right through, which it continues to be today. So uh, thank you. Uh, junior class, you guys sounded somewhat rowdy. A little lame, though. I usually hear a lot more from the junior class when the seniors come in, so hopefully uh, next year will be even more rowdy. Um, I first want to uh, add, we, last year, we, uh, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of uh, uh, Richard Dickey McAvoy, who was a patrolman in the town of Spencer, uh, in 1971 was shot in the line of duty. Uh, he succumbed to injuries in 1982. 11 years later, and we felt last year, uh, for some reason, it was neglect on our part that we never really caught that we should have put something in his honor. So we happened to catch it last year for the 50th anniversary. Uh, we named one of the recipients uh, in honor of him that was pursuing criminal justice. So uh, with that this year, I will begin uh, with that recipient. Um, I want to point out this recipient this year for the Criminal Justice Award uh, also completed an internship, uh, which was kind of on the fly a little bit with our uh, CJ program because the internships actually roll out next year for the junior class that will be seniors, which will be completing their Pathways program all four years. So this year we modified a bit. Um, the fire department did it as well. And we had uh, one uh, criminal justice student that wants to pursue the field, which I think is great. Uh, he completed 26 days of internship hours, well, I should say internship days, and a total of 56 hours uh, with the police department. Uh, I can't say enough about the maturity level of this, uh, I don't even think he's 18 yet, 17-year-old. Uh, he uh, looks like he's probably in his mid-20s. 
Um, but uh, full-grown man back here. Uh, but the bottom line is he showed a lot of professionalism, maturity, attention to detail. And uh, I think he certainly has the right stuff to uh, make this a career opportunity. Maybe he can even take my spot in five years when I retire. So uh, without, without further ado on that, our first recipient this year of a CJ uh, Criminal Justice Award College Scholarship goes to Damian Bernier. Okay, so not in any particular order, just how we kind of have them lined up. I had some excellent recipients this year. Uh, always I'm impressed by the essays and the class rankings and everything else that kind of gets thrown into the application packet. So this year's recipients of our College Scholarship Awards are as follows. Please, uh, when you hear your name, come on up. Well, uh, you know, let's give them a good round of applause as they come up, all right? First one, Gabby Soda. And I apologize if I mispronounce any names, so please be with me. Uh, bear with me. Uh, Felicity uh, Kazuski. I got it right? Yeah, you got it right. Okay. Good. Congratulations. Samantha Holmes. You're welcome. Brennan Ogert. Brennan actually probably wrote one of the best essays I think I've read over the last 20 years, so it was, uh, it was nice, nice to see. Uh, Jessica Fulmer. <laughs> Although this isn't a surprise, they, I did mail these out, the originals, so they already know, but uh, just in case anyone's wondering. Uh, the next one, Tatiana Kuba. Congratulations. Boy, we lucked out this year. Usually this gym is about 100 degrees in here. Oh, lucky. All right, next one, Peyton Prouty. Congratulations. Julia Cabana. Congratulations. Welcome to the Alexandra Holmes. Congratulations. Paige Kanoya. And last but not least, Byron Tippins. You're welcome. Thank you. Mr. Bassett will now give the eSports Award. Good afternoon. David Prouty has uh, now completed its fourth season with eSports, and eSports is definitely in its infancy in, in the world. And just to give you an idea of its growth, uh, as of right now, there's about 50,000 people playing Rocket League constantly. It's crazy. Uh, and 100 million monthly people are playing this game, which is insane. The infancy is, is going. Uh, 2019 League of Legends World Championship watched over by 100 million people. And compare that to the 2019 Super Bowl, 100.7 million people watch that. So that's where the, the value of this is going. And all of you esports 
Participants, thank you for being trailblazers of the future. Just to give you an understanding, Rocket League is highly intriguing multiplayer game that features teamwork, coordination, accuracy, and driving skills. It is a very active, competitive scene, and it's a top-tier eSport uh, game. It is a high-powered hybrid of arcade-style soccer and vehicular mayhem. If you've ever seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, involves high-level dexterity, fast-paced gameplay, and it can be played cross-platform, which gives it its popularity with about 100 million people playing monthly. Uh, just to understand a little bit uh, on how the three gentlemen that I'm about to bring up to you, uh, Jake, Brennan, and Joey, and what they have accomplished in the game, is it's easier to understand the competitive ranks in, in Rocket League. There's 23 levels that you can get to in that game, and two of the three are at level 19, which is champion three, and one of them is at level 18, which is champion eight, uh, champion two. Uh, quickly, Panthers DP began playing in the fall of 2020 and completed in a t competed in a total of four seasons. Each season, they made the playoffs. The first season, they played for a state title, unfortunately. It didn't go as they wanted it to and lost to Shrewsbury, but they were the runner-ups. And they competed uh, in the state title this past spring and beat Tewksbury and are the state champions for Rocket League. Kudos to you guys. <laughs> yeah, nice job. They went 25 and 5 over their four seasons, with three of those losses coming to the two teams that they played in the state titles. These three gentlemen are very good at what they do. I'm not sure we'll see another team like this. Congrats to you guys as well. Uh, with your talents, your skills, dedication, and hard work, you crowned your high school career with a state title. Congratulations. I believe this is the beginning of more great things for each of you. Gentlemen, not everyone wants their success celebrated, but I and everyone else in this gym take this opportunity to recognize your outstanding achievements. We celebrate with you and wish you each much continued success. Jacob, Brennan, and Joey, please come up here for this small token of recognition. In case some people didn't follow, we have the state champion video game team in the whole state here at David Prouty. They, they play a video game where they play soccer as cars. It's true. And you should watch it on YouTube, it's incredible. Yet they're not going to get Twitch. <laughs> I'd like to ask one of our greatest benefactors to join us here now. Kathy Knowles is here to represent the Spencer Exchange Club. They are incredible to David Prouty High School, to Spencer, to East Brookfield, to the entire region. Thank you for all that you do. You're representing everyone, but we appreciate everything. It is an honor for me to be here to represent the 70 plus members of the communities of Spencer in East Brookfield that are part of the Exchange Club of Spencer. Um, I will tell you that there is not a lot of bells and whistles today as there were last year, but I, I will tell you that we take great pride in the youth of our community and it is because of that great pride that we look for ways that we can not only recognize them, but somehow become involved in their success in their future. Today, I have the opportunity to recognize a student who is being awarded the ACE Award. His name is Randy Aguera.
the um, seniors that were honor that are honor students graduating with honors were recognized on Tuesday evening in a at a dinner at the Spencer Country Inn. At, that was an opportunity for the members of the club that were that could be available that evening to get to know these students. We had the opportunity to sit with them at dinner. Um, we had small small numbers of students with a larger number of members, probably a little intimidating for the students, but I have to say that um, we all felt very honored to have the conversation and to learn what we did learn about them in that short period of time. So they were recognized on Tuesday. Today I'm going to recognize the students that we have um, selected as our 18 under 18. The 18 under 18 award began last year. And the idea of that particular award is to recognize the youth in our community that are under the age of 18 uh, that are not often recognized because they may not be number one in the class or they may not be head of the student council um, or, or you know, the expert on the, on the playing fields and on the courts. Um, these are the people that make a difference in our community, in our homes, in our churches, across the towns of Spencer and East Brookfield. And we feel as though it's really important that we take that opportunity to recognize them and to let them know that we recognize them and we see them as the future leaders of the Spencer East Brookfield communities and also this future, perhaps the future members of the Exchange Club because our purpose as a club is to build community to support our community and to be wherever we can be whenever we need to be there the most. I would like to give just a few short words um, that I'm taking away from the honors dinner on Tuesday. We had a guest speaker. It was Jeremy Ahern from Ahern, Ahern Equipment. He is currently the president of the company. Um, and it has grown and continues to grow over the course of time and it's about being successful and looking forward to the future and, and what the future of work really is all about. So he was asked to speak at our dinner to, our, to the seniors and there are four things that he wanted to share with them and I thought that it was important for me to emphasize them today to all of the seniors but also to our 18 under 18 students. He started out by saying when he was asked to present to the students that he asked himself what would I tell my 18-year-old self? And he mentioned four things that he felt as though was really important. Looking back, if he only knew then what he knows now, these are the four things that he feels as though could have made an even greater impact on who he is as an individual within our community. Number one was always be learning. Never stop learning, never believe that you know everything there is to know, because there is so much out there. Read and acquire as much knowledge as you can. Number two, no one achieves greatness by themselves. We need each other. We need each other within the community. We need each other within our lives, on a personal as well as a social, as well as a professional level. So. No one achieves greatness by themselves. Important to remember. Be passionate about what you do. It was so appropriate for the young woman that I was sitting with at the dinner on Tuesday evening, um, who is very passionate about what she sees as her future. Hang on to that passion. Don't let go of it. And those of you who are freshmen, sophomores, juniors, probably receiving an 18 under 18 award today, Keep that passion strong and become part of our community and help us to grow strong as a community. And lastly, develop personal skills. As educators, we've put a lot of emphasis on English and math and science and social studies, but to some degree, I think we may have missed the target that is most important. And that target becomes even more important in today's world as things change and um, personal skills become what is going to help you take all of that knowledge you have in those content areas and bring it forward and make it something within our world. Those personal skills that he mentioned was empathy, active listening, negotiation, 
and consensus building. So I ask all of you who will receive the 18 Under 18 Award to think about those moving forward and to help us as an exchange club to pay it, play an active role in our community in, in keeping our youth at the forefront of everything that we do. So today I'm going to present each one of the 18 Under 18 students uh, t-shirt um, and I'm also going to be giving them two tickets to the Woo Sox game on June 16th. Um, the students will be recognized on the field in front of our whole community. Um, the June 16th game is a Spencer community game, so if you have not bought tickets yet, please come and join us. We will recognize our 18 under 18. Also, they're going to recognize our little league teams at, at the Woo Sox game. So please come and be there and recognize the young people in our community. So I'm going to present the t-shirts and those of you who receive the t-shirt, make sure you wear them to the game because we want you to stand out as an 18 under 18 from Spencer East Brookfield. Jake Bergeron. <laughs> Paige Burke. Tatiana Kuba. She's right here. She's Marley Domi. Connor Donahue. Jessica Duda. <laughs> Jessica Fulmer. <laughs> Brielle Hart. Samantha Holmes. Thank you. Thank you. Eva Laporte. Charlie Lascom. James McNichol. Chris Merzicki. <laughs> Brennan Ogre. <laughs> Axel Power. Lindsay Soder. Congratulations. Thank you for all you do. I just want to also um, let everybody know here that we also had two middle school students 
that are being awarded 18 under 18 also. So um, they don't have to be in high school to be making a, an impact and a difference in their community. Thank you. Earlier this year, the Daughters of the American Revolution Award for Dependability, Service, Leadership, and Patriotism was given to Peyton Prouty. Thank you. Each year, it is our great honor to recognize some of the top members of the rising senior class with the book awards. They may add these awards to their resume for college application. Hopefully over the summer, they'll go and do some in-person visits now that that's happening again. And if they're asked for their resume, I hope they'll be ready. The Smith Book Award is Jessica Duda. That's fine. The books aren't here yet, but the St. Michael's Book Award goes to one female and one male junior. Marley Domi and William Anderson. The Red Salier Award comes with a promise of a generous scholarship to the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute for the junior with outstanding promise in science. This year's Rensselaer Award is I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Cody Chen. He has outstanding promise in English, too, just saying. I think all his teachers think he has promise in everything. I'd like to invite Pam Pamulari to the lectern. I probably butchered your name, sorry, for the Hub International. Sure. This is a business scholarship award from Hub International to Byron Tippins. Is Nicole Syriac here from North Brookfield? Jessica. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I am on behalf of North Brookfield Savings Bank. I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates on your hard work and accomplishments. We wish you the very best in your future endeavors. I'm proud to present the 2022 North Brookfield Savings Bank Scholarship to Daniel Blazewski. Thank you so much. 
Note to the juniors, if you apply for scholarships, you might win them. Is Maria Martinez here? Excellent, Cornerstone Bank Scholarship. I love the audience in the back. <laughs> All right, good afternoon everyone. My name is Maria Martinez and I'm here to represent Cornerstone Bank. So each year Cornerstone Bank awards high school students in our communities with a scholarship to pursue a career in the business field. It is with great honor to present this Cornerstone Bank scholarship to two very uh, deserving graduates who have achieved academic excellence during their time at David Prouty High School. We feel that these students embody the Cornerstone Bank core values of teamwork, relationships, user-friendly, solutions-based, and transparency in everything they have done throughout their high school career in their community. Congratulations and best of good luck to the class of 2022. And on behalf of Cornerstone Bank, I would like to present this scholarship to Christopher Merzicki and And Brennan Ogier. I'd like to invite Diane Harper to the lectern to give the J. Harper Memorial Scholarship. Hi, my name is Diane Harper, and I am the mother of Jay Harper. Um, he went, he, came, he was a 1983 graduate of David Prouty. He went on to WPI, had a successful career, and he raised a great family. Out of a tragedy 10 years ago came the Jay Harper Memorial Scholarship Fund, which honors his life. Our application process is reviewed by Mr. Streeter and Mr. Fahey, as we know him in our family as Denny and Chucky. Um, <laughs> they played basketball and football with Jay when he was in here at David Prouty. Um, the candidates are selected based on criteria that were important to Jay. Out, one of the section, sections is writing a personal essay. And I just want to read a very short thing of what this essay is about so you know the caliber of the students that will get the essay and that will get the scholarship, excuse me. Leadership was very important principle to Jay. To him, it didn't mean that you had to be the captain of the team or the head cheerleader. It meant that you were a team player and demonstrated good sportsmanship, that you had a positive impact on those around you and that you applied this in your life, both on and off the field. How have you shown leadership in your life? How have you had a positive impact on those you come in contact with? And how do you plan to continue to positively influence people? On behalf of the Harper family, I am grateful and honored to present $8,000 in scholarships to Jessica Fulmer, Congratulations. Jacob Bergeron, Thank you, congratulations. Gabby Soder. And Brian Tippins. Byron. Byron. Sorry. Byron Tippins. Really nice to meet you. Congratulations. That's it.
The Spencer Fire Department scholarships are next. Thank you. You're welcome. My name is uh, Deputy Chief Corey LeCare. I want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to present this money. Um, class of 2022, congratulations. As has been said, you made it, right? Um, from, from here, you start life. I hate to be the first person to tell you that. Um, as, as you scatter and as you find homes, you're going to find community. I really strongly urge all of you to be a strong member of that community. You can make a difference together, individually. Um, through in those communities, you'll have that opportunity by being involved in local government, through voting, through being part of, uh, parts of um, committees and chairs and things like that. Um, but beyond that, you're going to have the opportunity to volunteer. Volunteerism is a huge part of, this, of the community of Spencer and every community of which I've really been a, um, been a part of, whether it be college or, uh, or community. So my challenge to you is be the people that are, that are working the hundreds, if not thousands of hours that, that have put all of this money that, that, you're, that you're receiving today and made it available to you. So, so, th so that's my challenge to you. Volunteer and be a part, an active part of your community. By the way, we're, we're looking for uh, volunteers on the fire department too. <laughs> um, so uh, congratulations again to, to all of you. Um, I have the opportunity to award these follow the following scholarships. To Jacob Bergeron. To Julia Cabana. Congratulations. Jessica Fulmer. Congratulations. Alexandra Holmes. Brennan Ogert. Thank you. Peyton Prouty. And Gabriel Soder. And while it's not an award, uh, scholarship award winner, I want to recognize Connor Donahue um, as, our, as our intern. I think he's found a new home um, <laughs> down within our walls. Goes to speak to his, uh, his father, retired Captain uh, Bubba Donahue as well. So again, challenge, volunteer, be involved. At this time, we will invite Coach Fahey, or Chucky, as some people call him, <laughs> to give the athletic awards. <laughs> Good afternoon. So at this time, uh, I'm here to present the Dean Carlson Memorial Award. Uh, it goes to one male, one female athlete. Uh, the award is for um, going to the most dedicated and talented athlete in the senior class, one male and one female. Uh, the awards are voted on by the coaching staff of David Prouty High School, and I'm here to present them. So for the male David Prouty High School Dean Carlson Memorial Award, Evan Fornia. By the way, congratulations, class of 2022. You guys finally made it. And for our female award winner, Gabby Soda.
I would like to recognize a few students who really made a difference in the community with um, special internships, not through vocational programs, but through the principal's office. Um, we had some interns in education who worked as uh, teacher helpers, did duties, um, helped out in classrooms, just really helped out at Wire Village, East Brookfield, and Knox Trail. Um, Tatiana Kuba, Jess Fulmer, Peyton Prouty, Gabrielle Soder, and someone got stuck, I think it's Avery, yes, Avery Puchowski. We also piloted an internship program with FlexCon this spring, and the following students participated in, graduated from that, and did internships on the floor, learning about 21st century advanced manufacturing. Randy Aguirre, yeah. Rini Dumas, Jason Seavey, and Gavin Haynes. Thank you to you. Um, all the principals in the Swickle Athletic League have the great privilege of choosing one student who embodies uh, the sportsmanship, um, love of competition, and um, spirit of the Swickle League. And this year's Swickle Award goes to Gabby Soder. Thank you, congratulations. And oh, it's my great pleasure at this time to invite Mrs. Donahue to the lectern for the Eugene F. Hurley Memorial Scholarships. And thank you so much to our athletic boosters. Good afternoon. On behalf of the members of the David Prouty Athletic Booster Club, we would like to congratulate all the graduates. Good luck to your future endeavors, whether it be the workforce, trade school, military, or college, you'll all do amazing. Mr. Eugene Hurley, along with the support of his wife, Anne, ran the successful David Prouty High School Booster Club since 1960. In honor of their longtime work, the David Prouty High School football field was named for Mr. Hurley. Mr. Hurley, along with his bucket of double bubble and dum-dum lollipops, was known to all who met him, attended, or graduated David Prouty due to his longtime daily involvement in the school and even after his retirement in 1989. Over the years, parents have volunteered their time to keep the David Prouty Athletic Booster Club going. This would not be possible without the continued support of our community, parents, and members of the Spencer East Brookfield School District. This year, we are honored to give away five scholarships in memory of Mr. Hurley for $1,000 each. Brennan Ogart. Thank you. Jessica Fulmer. Peyton Prouty. And Gabby Soder. Jacob Bergeron. Thank you. Thank you so much. At this time, 
I would like to ask the senior class president to come up for the transfer of power symbolically to the upcoming senior class president, Charlie Lascom. Um, I just want to say that the class of 2023 is in great hands with you. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> and you have to give it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, it is time for our class historians to present the senior slideshow. Members of the junior class, you may want to come down to the chairs. It'll be presented up on the screen.
So the last thing we'll do before the juniors are dismissed is the dedication of this year's yearbook. Good afternoon. Peyton and my, myself are up here today to dedicate our yearbook to two special teachers. I'll, I'll start off by dedicating it to the first teacher. It's such an honor to be up here and to have the opportunity to dedicate it to Mr. Streeter. For me, <laughs> for me, Mr. Streeter has been a huge part of my high school career. I was in some of his classes over the years, and he was also very involved in the sports that I played. Being with him six days a week for some stretches of time showed me how, just how good of a person he is. He cares deeply about every person he comes into contact with and always wants the best for them, even though he tells some very long and boring stories, which are very hard to listen to sometimes. He always has an answer for everything, a lesson to learn, and he tries to prepare us for life outside the sport or classroom. Someone once told me to leave a place better than you found it, and Mr. Streeter, without a doubt, is leaving David Prouty better than he found it. <laughs> Mr. Streeter, thank you for everything you have done for us, and on behalf of the senior class, happy retirement. We would also like to dedicate the 2022 yearbook to Mrs. Jingris. <laughs> Over the past four years, myself, alongside the rest of the senior class, has been exposed to the powerful impact that Ms. Jingris has had as our class advisor. Between constantly telling us to make the most of high school and providing us with, as she called them, wet wipe facials at the senior booth, she has, an incredible, she has been an incredible inspiration to us all. Not only was she an amazing English and yoga teacher, but she all, also put forth amazing effort into the Punch Bowl Club where she was awarded the Golden Apple. Ms. Jingris was also the ladies vars, varsity cross country coach, making her an amazing mentor to athletes here at David Prouty. After 34 years of teaching, 29 of which were here at Prouty, the class of 2022 would like to thank Ms. Jingris for all she has done for not only us, but for this school. We would like to wish both of you the best of luck with your retirement. Come up here for a second, you two. These are two of the kindest, most loving teachers who stay after, do stuff without being asked. I can't believe you guys are retiring. I just wanted to give you a hug and, and I hope everyone knows what a contribution they've both made. Congratulations on your retirement. for probably the first time. I'm sure Mr. Streeter is speechless as well. Uh, one of the things that we've talked about um, just uh, recent, because we're both retiring at the end of the year, um, is we've asked ourselves, you know, have we had a successful career? And we kept going back and forth, and I just kept coming to the answer that we don't have that answer, if we're, our careers were successful or not. Um, it's up to you. You know, you're the ones who decide um, if our careers were successful, if we're successful teachers. And we both thank you for the dedication. Um, and I just come back to the words of, of Emerson, and he asks, what is success? And it is to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate the beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, that is to have been successful. 
and it's up to all of you, the class of 2022, to make that decision, and thank you very much. Tatiana Kuba, would you like to get ready to raise your class? At this time, the class of 2022 will present to you their school song, and any alumni are very welcome to stand and sing along. The lyrics are on the back of your program. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us for class day. The class will be recessing to our school cafeteria where the junior class has prepared a light reception with refreshments for all of our friends and relatives. <laughs>